Hi children, welcome back to the third video on 2D shapes and orientation. We're going to look at the idea of rotation of clockwise and anti-clockwise. So can you shout out what this object is? Good, it's a clock. Now if we were to look at this clock and talk about clockwise, we would be going in this direction and this rotation. If we look at the numbers, they go in order in a clockwise way. Now if we wanted to go anti-clockwise, which way do you think that would be? Can you put your finger on this clock and put your finger round in the way that you think is anti-clockwise? Did you do this? Well done! Anti-clockwise is this way round. So we're going to look at clockwise and anti-clockwise looking at rotation. So I've got a triangle here and I'm going to rotate it clockwise and I'm going to do a whole turn. Let me show you. That was a whole turn. Imagine this is the top and it went all the way round in a clockwise way. Now I'm going to show you a quarter turn, but this time I'm going to put a little mark at the top of my triangle. Now you might be able to see it. A quarter turn is this. I have turned it a quarter in a clockwise way. Now go back to the start. If I was to turn it a half turn going clockwise, I would rotate my shape to look like that. Go back to the start. If I was to rotate it three quarters, I would rotate it clockwise. That's just gone quarter, that's gone half. That is three quarters back to the start. And if I was to do one whole turn clockwise, I would go all the way round back to the start. So find something that's maybe in your room and we're going to rotate it together. Now I've got Spider Baby. Now I'm going to rotate him clockwise mm, a half turn. You try your object first, and then I will show you on Spider Baby. So do a half turn in the clockwise rotation. Now I'm gonna show you Spider Baby doing it. Halfway turn, clockwise, go on Spider Baby. Good, he's upside down. Go back to the start. Now, Spider Baby, I want you to do a full turn clockwise. Are you ready? Okay, off you go. Clockwise turn, off we go. Well done. You know how to do it, don't you? Good. Now I want you to do a quarter turn clockwise. Off you go. Good. Back to the start. And are you ready for this one? I want you to do three quarter turn clockwise. Go. Good. Right, say goodbye to everyone. Bye bye. So you try it now with an object. Maybe as a challenge, you could even try it going anti clockwise. Maybe write and tell your teacher about it on the Google Classroom. So what have we learnt about classifying in our previous videos? It's about grouping things together that have the similar properties. What have we learnt about orientation? It's about how we position something and rotate it in different ways. Well done, you've worked really hard. Next video will be on three 3D shapes. Have a think about that before our next video. Bye.